Onwards we go. I, I'm i getting better. I'm reliably getting to the Purple Temple now. That's... I, I realize I keep choking on it, but that's because new room layouts, things that I'm not used to, and just sheer attrition and frame rate issues. You know, all of those together just makes for kind of a rough... Uh, a rough run once you start getting to that section. Holy shit, look at this. Also, sup, Retro Man. Man, dude. Just me just immediately kill myself from fall damage. Would not be the first time that's happened. There's a lot of usual su suspects here. It's, I, it's still kind of cool to see. Yeesh. But yeah. Now that we've got the discount, I should be able to get some of the goodies. That I didn't really have the last run. We did shockingly well. I, I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit. We did shockingly well for a run where we kind of had double jump, mostly just had quick whip. It does highlight how good quick whip is though, and is something that I will probably go out of my way for in the future. Oh, that was a large chest. I've never actually paid attention to the visual differences between a medium chest and a large one. It's not as big as I was expecting it would be. Okay. Nice part is... We're going to be leaving this floor with just a ton of loot. An ab uh, absolute metric snap load. Okay, I think I got everything up high. What are you doing, Mr. Vetromation? What are you doing? Get up. Why are you just crab walking there, you weird creep? Large chests have a top knot. Yeah. Just not necessarily used to seeing them. I, I guess they're kind of rare. They're probably the ones that give me the keys. More than anything else. Okay, grab that. Swing down. Sweet chariot. Oop, nothing. Be good. Get all the money. And we're leaving the first level with 426 gold. Which is incredibly good if you're, you know, running a 50% discount. I'm looking forward to what perks they'll add and what whips. Yeah, I'm really curious about what kind of whips they're going to add. Perks also. I... I'm hoping for a much wider variety. And I want some whips that, like, really change your run. Uh, that make you do weird shit instead. Aha! What have we got up here? Aha! There we go. You got absolutely bubkiss. Skip that. I'm definitely one of the not one of the leaders of this pack. But that's fine by me. Alright, so let's pop some blessings until I get enough HP that I'm not going to just outright die. I like wings. And it's worth getting, but I don't want to be too shot. Okay. Long whip. And then I'm going to save. Oh, I think that was Rick. Let's see. I love a perk that has the Guardian's current bonus. Would be amazing for late game. Yeah, I can see that being really good. This is kind of a, like, uh... Holy shit, you are too much for me. Let me slow you right down. Reminds me of Curse of the Dead Gods. Except for its first person. Got a little bit more than that. 
but I would agree. It's got that same kind of tomb raiding, you know, loot grabbing vibe. Oh. Did no one grab this? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I really hope they add kind of like a, a direct competitive mode. I want to do a, a dungeon where I load it up and all of my friends, like all of my friends can connect. Let's see, I don't see anything fancy there. All of my friends can connect and we keep running the same dungeon over and over again until one of us wins. And then we move on to a new dungeon. That's what I used to do with Binding of Isaac runs. And it was really fun. And I would love to have that experience in this one. Because, uh, you know, I see I see all of my friends, you know, going by. You know, I see Rick, I see Ash. I don't think I've seen Jazz go by yet. But, you know, seeing all of these these friends of mine kind of in the, in the backdrop of my own runs has been kind of neat. The Poison Bob Maroonie can't, uh, can't get at me in here. I don't see any loot here. And yeah, I'll just wait. A bonus would also balance itself since later blessings get progressively more expensive. No, that's a good point. Hoy. I saw Rito, but he was creeping. Yep, there's Rito. Uh, Rito and Rick. I think they're the two that I recognize in this run. Oh, also Ryokin. Again. Well, that sucked. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten hit by that. I just saw everybody stop, and I'm like, well, maybe this ain't so bad. And since I was mid-air, there was no way I could roll to get rid of the poison. I'm mainly also thinking of just kind of like... Potential tournament stuff that you can do for like Twitch and whatnot. Okay, he is really harassing me here. Oh, I'm just... I'm just trapped. Okay. I've never had... I've never had Poison Boy be a threat to me like that. But then again, I was kind of goofing. Bonus Heart, double jump. Uh, let's go Bonus Heart. What if you get more money if you're the first to open the chest? Don't think so. The main benefit for uh, being the first to open the chest is you can whip it at a distance to save some time. Let's see, I think the idea of... Racing phantoms over live players is just to preserve the load on servers. But, like, imagine if I could host it, for example. Or, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking of, like, a Twitch Rivals thing. Ah, it's Devouring Rage. That's ah, gonna be rough. I haven't seen Devouring Rage... in the later levels though so maybe maybe he doesn't show up in purple gosh i hope he doesn't does anyone actually care about twitch rivals i have no idea maybe i personally have no functional interest but i think so much of that has to do with the fact that you know i'm 
uh, you know, I'm pretty much never going to get invited. Maybe, maybe if I really pushed it for a long time. Wow. That sucked. I guess I deserved that. I wasn't exactly avoiding. Okay, what do we get? Quick whip or a heal? I'm gonna go quick whip. I'd like to go for that heal, but I want to go for the three heal. The single heal is kind of okay. All right. Yeah, I'd like to get another heart container. Shit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we've got long quick whip. Aha! Okay. There's that. I don't... Oh, there's one more. The big issue is that homeboy there is very fast. Okay, that was most definitely a lucky. Saving my ass. Oh, well, shh. Screw you, dude. Screw that door. It was right at the exit, too, and it's just like, eh. Uh, let's see what we get. Double jump, hover slide, double jump. Please give me a triple heal. Take the bonus heart. All right. This is why I don't like him. Unlike most of the other ones, yeah, the door definitely needs to open faster. It needs... Locked doors like that can't exist with Devouring Rage. Like... Maybe... Maybe Devouring Rage, that is what they're going for with Devouring Rage. Holy shit. But like... He's... Infuriating to get around. Yeah, lucky saving wonders butt all over the place today. Yeah, seriously. Oh, hey, thank you, Rayokin. Oh, I got a purple key pack from somebody. So, more coins. I don't really care for either of these. Plus, we should probably reboot the game. And maybe you should just distort your stream to the point of no return if you get hit or near near him. I don't really I don't really know what the solution with devouring rage is. The main issue is just that all the other guys can be avoided. Um 
But Devouring Rage forces you to move when you might not be able to. You know, there, uh, because of the way this game handles traps, you have to wait for a lot of them. And that kind of prevent, pre it produces this awkward situation when Devouring Rage is chasing you, especially at higher speed, where it's like, spike trap, and you have to wait, and you turn around and he's right there, and it's like, well, either I lose the run, and he kills me, or I, um, either I lose the run, uh, when he catches up to me, oh, do I not have a choice? Nope, there we go, Indiana Whip. Um... Let's see. There we go. Yeah, make him maybe make him charge you instead of chasing you. I don't I think you should just chase slower. Or some there's there's a lot of different ways that you could do it, but the main issue is just that like the way he is he, the way he is currently paced, who is that, Rayokin? Yep. Mouse sensitivity is wonked, and I don't know why. Hey, it's Price. Uh, can you not take a whip? Oh. You know, didn't really think about that. I bet you can. Unfortunately, uh... Neat seeing Ray pop up. Dude is better than me, and really good at, uh... at triggering chests from afar. There's... There was definitely... I swear there was another door here. Oh, it's it's this room. Oh, even C-Top. Hey! I got him his key. Okay, let's go there. Uh, but yeah, just for so many of these locations, it's just like... Uh, Chaser man starts uh, starts chasing you, and, like, you can't stop, you can't look for the treasure, and any trap that, like, forces you to halt more or less guarantees you're going to take damage or die. That's what it boils down to for me. I want to move away from this topic because there's no way I'm going to be able to keep a consistent train of commentary while playing this game. I'd like to. I ain't that good. Yeah, the issue is the others can be hidden from or dodged, and he will uh, relentlessly pursue you through floors and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. If he couldn't move through walls, or if he had to stop occasionally. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of different ways you could you could build him. Personally, I think the coolest way to do it would be to make him boo. I, I'm assuming when I say that, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, uh, in the Mario games, if you see Boo, uh, if you see Boo, it'll stop. It'll stop moving. And it'll wait until you stop looking at him, I think. Um, I will admit, I've never actually played Super Mario beyond just like a little bit. And so my my exact knowledge of how Boo works is kind of limited. But on a conceptual level, that's really cool just for like the, hey, uh, here's an enemy that will chase you relentlessly and generally cannot be stopped. However, you can pause him temporarily uh, to give yourself some leeway if you're stuck for whatever reason. So yeah, you just look at Boo and you, you stare at him until it's time for you to... Um, progress, whatever the limit of your progression is. Be it, you know, you're waiting for the stage to go, or who knows what, there's a lot of different reasons. I feel like that could work really well with the Devouring Rage, because then, then you'd kind of be mixing between progressing and then trying to stare at him uh, constantly, which might even make it uh, more awkward and imprecise. But I still feel like it could be really cool. Yeah, whipping him in the face could work too. Yeah, if you whip him and he runs away f at, like, m double speed for, like, a little while.
You know the other option uh, that would be equally cool? Get rid of the fact that he's just this giant stone head. Make it so that he's instead... Uh, he's instead a red phantom. A red phantom that specifically will follow players. Uh, let's see. A red phantom that will follow players... Uh, behind and performs exactly like a player would. You know, effectively just simulate a player, but this phantom specifically... Maybe it doesn't even kill you. Maybe maybe the Devouring Rage specifically just steals your money, but he steals a lot of it. And so there's kind of this, like, you don't really want to let him catch up to you because it's going to hamstring you for a while. Uh. Or, uh, other thing that I think would actually be almost better... Uh, e equally better? What if the, uh, what if the Guardian scaled based on how many blessings you had? Instead of how far you are, how many blessings you've picked up? Oh, there's Jazzy. I've been following her for a little while now, and I guess... I guess there she be. <gasps> Missed the treasure chest, though. The Shadow Mario's. Maybe. Unfortunately, like I said, never actually played Mario. So my full knowledge of how the Mario games work and the various foes that uh, they throw at you, uh, frankly, incredibly limited. I wish I had been one of those people that like got super into Mario. Mario Maker? Because I feel like that could have been kind of a really cool thing to do. Hmm. Is there usually chess? There we go. There's usually more than that, but I'm not gonna spend too much time looking. It's not worth it. Scale based on how much money you pick up. Maybe. It would be cool if Devouring Range was like the invaders in Dark Souls, where they're a red phantom. Uh, but instead, another player chasing you. I, I don't think you'd want to have, like, an actual player, though. I think that would be the one issue. That that could have weird netcode issues. Let's see. Was there a blessing you got the other day that made the Guardian so it wouldn't do damage, but took money instead? I don't think so. Wow. It really is kind of neat how many people I recognize, because there's also Potato, uh, who I've seen at least a couple of times, and has rescued me from a dire fate or two. Of course, I'm going to fall way the hell behind as a result of this. However, we are completely vanilla, uh, which might seem like a downside, but being completely vanilla at this stage means... I got a shit ton of money. I got a shit ton of healing. Uh, let's not do that. Anything else back over here? The answer is big no. But still. I don't know. It's fun. I do really wish that... Uh, really wish. I love the music in this game. I wish, uh, during the safer section there was a little bit more of a... Like, a something going on just so I'd have something to latch onto. Where the hell are we going? Oh, we're going up. Haha. <laughs> so I had the right idea initially. Kind of. Ah. In, we're fine. Oh, you shitting me. I think he warped above me. 
So he took contact damage. Big rude. I don't think there's any other loot in this room. I've checked it a bunch of times, and maybe there is, and maybe I've just missed it. Gosh, that's convenient. Just being like, no blade. So what hit us? The boss actually did. He warped, uh... The mid-boss warped into be, uh, like, directly above me. And so when I, when I jumped or whipped or whatever, uh... Uh, I specifically just bonked my head off of him. Which, kind of tacky. I kind of hope they fix that. Maybe. Quick whip. I like quick... I like quick whips, and I cannot lie. So, Jazzy, where do you go? What's your plan here? You get twitchy. Now, the question is, does she go down? She goes blue. Hey. How about other phantoms hurting you as a guardian wander? Oh. No, I think that would be rough. It would be interesting if occasionally one of them set caught fire and you had to avoid them. I think that could be cool. But also not very dangerous because then you just wait until they're gone. Upgrades of the game do not do much for transforming it, which makes basically stat-ups of Long Whip and Quick Whip some of the best in the game. I, there's barely any upgrades in the game to begin with. There's, like, the Ledge Hover, which I don't think is very good. Uh, Long Whip, Quick Whip. Was that Devouring Rage? I really gotta get used to recognizing them visually. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, it's it's the poison. It's the pestilence. Okay, that hurt a bit, but it's kind of fine. This is a bit tough. Okay, this is kind of perfect for me. There we go. And we can immediately heal. Perfect. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Lucky hover slide. I like neither of these. I guess I go lucky. What if someone gets set on fire as a warning? They explode soon after. Yeah, maybe. Another interesting one would be any phantom that dies. Uh, whatever killed them suddenly becomes like three times deadlier, so if it's like a, a swinging blade trap, suddenly it's just like hell mode. And so you want to potentially be faster. Faster than the, um... Than the potential victim. Okay, avoid that. Yeah, the frame rate. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. It's actually worse on lower graphics, weirdly enough. Because some of the visuals just get real wonky. Wow, this looks stinky. Rude. Gotta just avoid that. I don't know why this all went green. Green is usually a weird bad sign here. Is 
Is this just like a bizarre dead end? I, I, I guess. Okay. Very strange. Okay, and this is just one of these. So far, so good. Things are just behaving strangely for me, and I'm... I'm worried about it? Mainly because... Anytime this game starts acting odd, uh, I'm suddenly in danger. Huh. Well, I, I got it. Okay, didn't die. That could have gone bad. That was weird. Whew. Alright, hover slide, long whip. I really could use some other upgrades, but I'll take these. Yes, swing Malatrap suddenly becomes a bladed pendulum. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot that they can do with this game, and I'm really excited to see where they take it. Obviously, there's, like, such a wide range of things that they can do. Uh, and probably won't do, all things considered. That's okay. Did he stinking up the outside of the level? Gosh, that was rough. I don't know. Bombernaut is suddenly earning some respect points here. Really? That sucks.